Good morning, all of the Academy faculty, friends, parents, staff, and graduates, and those of you who thought this day would never come. Chawan, we're finally going to be free. Eternal life. 
OAC is that a place where we are even born. It is a place of spiritual parents and teachers. OAC is where we come to meet Christ and to live again through his love. OAC is where we follow Jesus and live out the gospel. OAC is where we can confess that we want to devote our lives to knowing and loving him and building his kingdom. This is my testimony. And do you? <laughs> but it wasn't Do you think that all this we have today just showed up somewhere? That when you were sitting on this chair, that everything was just here from the beginning? It wasn't like that. If you don't know what it was, then you don't know that we started in an unventilated attic in the dining hall without any teacher. You do not know that hiring just one teacher was the biggest blessing on the school year. You do not know the sacrifice of people you don't even know the names of who toiled their sleepless nights to pay our school costs. And you do not know the hundreds of prayers around the world for one more missionary child to be able to attend this. And if you don't know how this came about, you have not seen our teachers, our staff, our faculty. Or, sorry. Who are endlessly giving themselves up and breaking themselves, their bodies, to serve you every day and serve you with the and do you know the reason for all that? It was to hold you in their arms. It was the joy of holding the newborn baby. Because there is new life. That there is hope for this hopeless world. That God will still work in this generation, and the next generation, and the next generation, and the next generation, to draw his people to himself. So ask yourself, why are you here? Why? Away from your parents, away from your comforts, away from even your culture. Is it that always the attraction because of our best academics? of the most course offering that you can have here? Is it because it's the best networking site? Or you can make the best friends that will make you successful for your future? Do we have the best extracurricular offers? The best 3D printer? Where's my sister from? <laughs> Maybe one day. I believe it for sure. We will be. We will have the best. That's not why we're here. That's not why we started the school. And there are hundreds of other Christian schools that have things that we don't. And those are the kinds of standards I also once measured our school. That if we didn't have this, if we didn't have that, then we're just not enough. We're just not not a real school. But that kind of joy in the world, this joy will be away. I took more AP exams than the fingers on your hands. <laughs> and I was still empty. All those extra curriculums I did, all the activities that I did, 
doesn't satisfy me. And it didn't. So then, what is the boast and the pride of voicing? What is my boast and pride about voicing? Is that here? I was born in death. The spirit of truth. And I could freely make that up. Set in the midst of a secular world where Christian schools are being closed, are compromising to the truth, giving in to absurdism, relativism. You can find, I found, the absolute truth in Jesus Christ. At mercy. So students, even from kindergarten, to every grade up to 12th grade, if you can meet Jesus Christ personally and intimately and confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and truly desire to live my life, your life, for his kingdom, then it's worth everything. The sleepless nights, the aching muscles of our teachers, the stress of lacking school funds, the difficulty of running a young school, it's all worth it because the joy of holding that baby swallows all the suffering of the mother. Just as what happened on Calvary when Christ carried the cross for us, enduring the scorn, enduring the thorns, and the blood that oozed from his sons. He endured because of the joy set before him. And his love is a reason all of us. So to conclude, I have an assignment. Wow, <laughs> your favorite. <laughs> I have a final assignment for all these students. Especially sorry to the seniors. You thought it was over. Isn't that nice? Students, please, all of you, take a good, Long look at our OAC staff today. All of them, okay? Look into your eyes. Say thank you. Thank you for sharing your treasure, the love of Jesus, with me. And thank you for holding on to me. Even when it was so painful to love me and serve me. Thank you for showing up every single day to build this school for God's glory. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So even if people call me old, I'm just a newborn. The cradle in the arms of Oisi is just the beginning. We are not called to keep this truth of the gospel and the love we tasted in Christ to ourselves. Yesterday, we had a rehearsal. Oh, wait, the day before, we had a rehearsal for graduation. Pastor Claire, she prayed this in her closing prayer. She said, we are the hope of this world. We will be on those who will save this world. Oise has raised us to be those who share the love of Christ, walking with him as we fulfill the Great Commission, preaching his cross and resurrection to the ends of the earth. Let's be those ones. 
in the course of these last few years. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he brings. But greater still, the calm assurance this child can face on certain days because he lives. Congratulations to the class 2024. Thank you.